Hi, I'm Ty Davis. Today we're going to talk GitLab Value Stream Management and the developer insights that you have available. You know, while that the value stream analytics that, that we had started with that you saw focuses on the entire software development lifecycle process, um, GitLab is offering uh, metrics and KPIs that they allow management within organizations to have customized metrics that drill down in a systematic way that uh, covers patterns and causes for successes and failures, whether it's at the individual, a project, um, or a group level. So uh, the developer insights that we have here, we can see are making or who's making what amount of commits, we need to dive into, uh, you know, it's not a, it's not a scoreboard, but if we need to look into those that may need a little more pushing, uh, you can do that. So contribution analytics, this is going to uh, take it a, a step up. You know, we have the projects uh, that fall underneath the subgroup. This is to give us that, that uh, viewpoint from a, a group. Contribution analytics, you can get uh, an overview of the issues, uh, merge requests, and a push events that are aggregated across all the projects within that group. And this is kind of where you can, not kind of, but it is where you can uh, analyze your team's uh, contributions over a period of time and and see uh, similarly, you know, who, who the top contributors are in your group, uh, identify opportunities for improvement with group members or any that may benefit from support. And it's gonna give you a, a more holistic view of not just um, um, co uh, uh, code contributions, it's going to give you, you know, how many you've pushed, opened issues, closed issues, MRs, and then uh, total contributions there. Thanks for watching this video on Developer Insights. Be sure to check our next video, Security Insights as part of Value Stream Management.